Good, Good morning, morning Richland High School. School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Thursday, November 21st. Lunch. Today is a buffet day. Woo! Sophomore class. Congratulations to the following sophomore Appalachia's fundraiser winners. First place seller, Courtney Stevens. Second place seller, Autumn Schmidt. Third place seller, Doug Glackey. All winners should stop by and see Miss Gruss to claim their prize. Freshman class. Congratulations to the following freshman Cheats Coupon Booklet fundraiser winners. First place seller, Noah Glackey. Second place seller, Natasha Pletcher. Third place seller, Becca Carnell. All winners should stop by and see Miss Gruss to claim their prize. Sad. There will be a sad meeting Thursday, November 21st during homeroom to distribute sad clothing order forms to those interested. Fan bus. The District 6 champion football game fan bus. The student council <laughs> will be sponsoring a fan bus to Friday's District 6 championship game at Mansion Park in Altoona. The cost is $8, which includes the bus trip and the ticket to the game. All students must pay when they sign up for the bus. A minimum of 30 riders, riders are required to uh, sign up and pay Miss Riggle in room B108 by 11 a.m. <laughs> on Friday. The bus will depart at 5.30. Advanced ticket sales. Advanced ticket sales for Friday night's football game against Central are available in the main office. Students are $3, adults are $6. All tickets are $6 at the gate. Fine Arts. Cookie dough orders for the Fine Arts Department are due on November 22nd, 2013. If you haven't ordered your tub of yummy, delicious cookie dough, please see Miss Ringler or Mr. Candace Dracy today. This is a great way to make the holidays a lot sweeter. <laughs> Art Club. Mm -hmm. Art Club and Anime Club clothing orders are due Friday, November 22nd, 2013. Additional order forms may be picked up in the art room. Art Club. There will be an Art Club and Anime Club meeting on Friday, November 22nd. Junior High Student Council. Junior High Student Council members are reminded to see Miss Smite this week to pick up permission slips for Arbutus and Christmas sharpening. Is that what that said? Yeah. Slips are due back on Friday. I think that's what it said. Ski Club meeting. There will be a Ski Club meeting on Monday, November 25th after school for students interested in the Ski Club trips to Seven Springs and to Killington, Vermont. They will be held in Mr. Winery's room, D112, and will last about 20 minutes. Key Club. In recognition of November's focus on the homeless and those in need, the Key Club is asking for slightly used coats, hats, gloves, or non-perishable food items. There are box on, boxes on either side of the cafeteria. Please place your goods in one of the boxes. Our drive will last from this week until November 22nd. We can't do it all, but with your help, we can do what we can. Senior High Forensics. Attention to all high school forensics members. Our first meet is less than a month away. Practices continue to be held directly after school on every Tuesday and Thursday that we have school. Please make it the effort to come and practice your piece. 2013 American Red Cross Blood Drive. The winter 2013 American Red Cross Blood Drive has been scheduled for December 10th. If you are 16 or older and meet certain height and weight requirements, you are eligible eligible to donate. Sign-ups will be held during homeroom, and if you sign up before Friday, November 22nd, you will receive a free T-shirt. All donors will also receive snacks and drinks. Teachers, if you are interested in donating, please notify Mrs. Riggle or Mrs. Dorge. Please consider giving the gift of life. SAD is having a clothing order form for the entire student body, faculty, and Richland community. The clothing has the saying, keep calm and say no, in the red and blue Richland colors. Please support Richland's SAD Students Against Destructive Decisions. Please see Ms. Dum or the Guidance Office for order forms. Deadline to order is December 2nd. Today's career announcement, November 21st. Let's talk today about some biomedical occupations. Advances in technology have caused the number of healthcare jobs to explode over the past decade. These advances in technology also permit us to do more for patients. One exploding field is genetics. When you think of genetics, you should think of your family, your genes, and how you ended up with your hair or eye color, for example. In healthcare, genetic counselors work with patients regarding genetic disorders. Genetic engineers use genes to create new vaccines and other medical therapies. We'll talk about genetic counselors again tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, there is bioremediation in the LGI room. Be there. But if you don't have to go, just go wherever you're supposed to go. <laughs>
Have a great day.